All right, y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. So today we are checking out a video about the Norwegian Telemark Battalion again. So we checked out these guys previously. More specifically, we checked out their snipers, and I was very impressed with everything I saw. The amount of discipline that they were actually using, their awesome hide site that they actually established inside the building, their camouflage, their room clearing, all of it looked very, very solid. So today we're checking out another video from them, and this is actually them training in Lithuania and I guess this exercise is called the enhanced forward presence so I'm not familiar with these exercises of course NATO runs a bunch of exercises all over the place so I'm not going to be too savvy on all of them but this looks very very awesome this video is about two minutes long so it's pretty short but from what I've seen so far it looks really solid and it looks like some awesome training and again these guys look like they're absolutely knocking it out of the park. So again, before we get into the video, if you guys haven't seen my merch, I have a link down in the video description. I'm also going to start posting some Amazon affiliate links. So if you guys want to check out the equipment that I use, I'll put a link to my video camera, my microphone, my tripod. And uh, yeah, you guys can check it out if you're interested in that. But yeah, this video looks very, very awesome. Again, Telemark Battalion, these guys are pretty solid. I understand they're like a mechanized infantry, but their their ground combat skills look very, very solid as well. So yeah, let us let's get into it for sure. I'm very, very excited to check out the rest of this video. So I'm not exactly sure what it's saying with the, the small captions. But look at this already. So this looks like extremely similar to something that I've actually done over in Fort Polk and I'll post a I'll post a little clip from that training event. So this looks very solid. Of course, whenever you're doing any sort of training like this, if you're attacking a village, you want to use the terrain to your advantage and you can see they're attacking from the low ground. And this is great because they're not going to be spotted. If there's an observation post, they might push that into the low ground, but that's much less of a risk than them just being spotted from the actual village itself. So they're using that terrain, they're using the low ground, and they're using the foliage to actually push up onto the village, which is very standard. That's pretty common for what you'd see with any sort of maneuver elements. But again, these guys are like mechanized, but their, their light infantry skills are very, 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 very solid. I mean, compared to some stuff that I've seen in the Marines or even some army units, this is like much better. So they're getting online right now. Okay. So of course you can see they have a uh, concertina wire right here. So they might've had to breach an obstacle. It might've been like sea wire or what have you. So they might've had to do that. That's also very standard for any sort of assault like this. But I like how they had, I don't, it looked like a flare gun, but I think it might've actually been shooting a smoke. So if it did shoot a smoke, then that is an awesome tool to have. Now we do have smokes and if you're good at throwing a smoke grenade, it'll work just fine. Or if you, even, if you have engineers, they can provide a little bit more obscuration. But yeah, having a, a little tool like that so you can just get the smoke exactly where you want is very, very cool. Again, I'm not exactly sure if that's what it was, but I imagine that's what they're actually using that for. So all you need to do is determine which way the wind is blowing, get that smoke in the exact position you need it, and then just have the wind blow it to obscure your movement, which is very cool. And you can see they're moving very aggressively and they have some very, very cool equipment. Solid movement too. Okay. Nice. Dude, I love that so much. Of course you have to you have to implement like solid CQB training before you do anything like this. And I know I'm pausing the video a lot, but I'm seeing so many awesome things right now. So that was very, very solid. You can see they didn't have any more danger areas in that hallway. So for them to drop any long security and both enter that room makes perfect sense. So it's awesome to see, and their aggression is just top notch. It's very, very awesome. <laughs> nice throw. 
That was a good use of smoke for sure. Solid movement. Okay, and that's something that I haven't really been able to train with too much. So we can see they're using the armor as like a method to, to push up a little bit closer to the building itself, which is awesome. So you can see we have the building here, so that's probably like their obstacle or their objective building. And now they're using the armor and they're sort of using that as a point of, of uh, cover and also like a pivoting point to start getting people around it and onto those uh, vehicles or onto those buildings a little quicker. And you can see they have a, he has a ladder, they have, I think, AT4s. So they have some pretty solid equipment. It's pretty pretty much standard with what you'd see with any sort of light infantry elements. But these guys are mechanized, so they're able to work with their armor a lot better than any sort of uh, light armored or light infantry units in the Marines or in the Army. Because you don't really get so much training around the mechanized vehicles besides like an amphibious assault vehicle. It's a nice training area too. Solid. Okay, so the two men could have been a little bit quicker with pushing up with the one man, but that was totally fine. Their aggression looks very, very solid. That's like the biggest thing that I'm seeing with the, uh, the Telemark Battalion. The Zerg Russian is awesome. They all seem like they're in pretty solid shape. I'm not sure exactly what you need to do to actually get into the specific units, but they seem like they're in pretty good shape. They're moving very, very quick. They're moving with a purpose, and it's awesome to see. That's exactly what you want to see with any light infantry element for sure. Yeah, and they're, they're pretty good about picking up the security as well. So again, that was a short video. I was pausing it a lot, but this is, it's awesome. I love seeing videos like this. It was short, but we were able to see a lot of different things and a lot of things that were implemented very well. I mean, you'll see videos that are like eight minutes long put out by the Marines and the US Army, and you don't see like that many solid things. So these guys are doing some, some very good training. Their training area looks awesome. They're implementing their armor and they're doing everything very nicely. So that's very cool to see as opposed to just doing a big training event where everything just gets a little bit sloppy because it wasn't coordinated that well. This seemed like it was coordinated very, very well. Everyone knew what they were doing. And yeah, you could see the, the flow of everything, which is very, very good. But I like their use of smoke. Obscuration is a, a tricky thing to get um, to to use accurately or to use efficiently because people like to use smoke whenever, or at least in the movies, you'll think people like to use smoke whenever there's any sort of enemy contact. However, when they're moving inside of a village, that is an awesome time to use smoke. And they were using it very effectively because they're putting it in certain locations where if the enemy saw the smoke, they still wouldn't be able to tell where the good guys were. So if we look at this right here, he threw the smoke out of this window and put it on this corner. So if we had enemy basically over here or just beyond these buildings or even to the left, they wouldn't be able to tell where the good guys were because good guys could be over here, they could be over here, they could be you know behind the camera. It's a very good use of smoke and it was just for, I mean, having an element push up to this small building right here. So it was absolutely a great way to obscure their movements they did it in a way that was very quick, very efficient, and again, the enemy doesn't know where they are. They can move up to the next building, start clearing that out, and the enemy still has no idea because they have this smoke going up, and they really they can't really see those precise troop movements inside the village. So I don't know. It's very cool. Like it's a small thing that you'd notice, but I I like I like their use of smoke, and I gotta say when I get smoke, I tend to not use it as much. So I do, I do appreciate how these guys are actually putting it to some solid use. I get pretty sketched out whenever I use smoke just because it's like a bullet magnet. But at the same time, if the enemy doesn't know where you are exactly and they can't really get a good line of sight, then it's a good time to use smoke um, to at least obscure movement from building to building. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. I know it was very short and I was talking a lot, but it was very, very cool to see. Some very good habits we're seeing. 
Um, I didn't see too many bad habits. The room clearing could be a little bit better, but compared to what I've seen with the U.S. Marines, U.S. Army, for most light infantry elements, that room clearing was probably a little bit better than what I would see with those those U.S. military units. But yeah, again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If there's anything else you saw that worked really well, or if you, you saw any issues with their tactics, and let me know, because of course, I don't, I'm not the most experienced with mechanized units, and there might have been a more efficient way to do this, but for me, it looked pretty solid. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section regardless. I hope you guys appreciated the video. If you guys want to see some more shorter videos where I'm talking a little bit more, you can let me do, let me know in the comment section as well. And I'd be, uh, yeah, I'm willing to facilitate that. I try not to talk too much because, uh, yeah, again, we want to see these awesome units in action. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is it for this one. So I will see you on the next one.